start circle time? Yeah. All right, let's sing our Days of the Week song. He's really like a dad, I think, to each of the kids. He, he really treats them like they're his own. There's Sunday and then Monday is a Tuesday. Just by being in his class is rewarding. Thursday, high five, awesome job. All right. Since 1995, Mark Matone, a pre-K special education teacher, has devoted much of his time to doing what is best for his students. Selected as the 2014-2015 New Jersey State Teacher of the Year, Mark's dedication and passion is not only felt by his colleagues, but also by his students. What letter makes it sound? Jeff. Oh, you're so smart. Autism, I find, is a very complicated disability. It's complicated because every child I've ever worked with um, have always needs something individualized. Now, it's not a cookie-cutter approach in how we teach it. And not just in the classroom, but even the needs inside a home environment are so different. It's, a, it's really a clean slate, and you need to really build a foundation for that child so that that child can learn. So I betray you? We're a team. Mark includes us in everything. I've learned how to work with these children in a way that I never thought I could. How to be patient, how to realize that there's other ways to get through to these children than the way she would get through to other children. He's like a solid level one. Yeah. Level two is probably what I would rate him more as. Mark and I work together as lead teachers in the ABA program. He's just dedicated to everything that he does, whether it's the technology aspect, the children, applied behavior analysis, everything he does is 100%. I don't think this is so much about being a teacher or you know the, the best professional that there is out there. I think it's just somebody who has such a heart and a passion for what he does, and it goes into every aspect of what he does. Um, you know, there's those days I think where we we all struggle. Look at me. <laughs> and we feel like, oh, I just can't do this anymore. And, you know, I look at Mark and I just see him pushing himself and pushing the kids, and, and it, it's inspiring. Here, Chris Cross Applesauce. It's very inspiring. I started out as an aide working with a, a, a five year old child, and I honestly did not think I'd make it past the third day. He was very severely uh, disabled, and I didn't have the skills. but. I said to myself, you know what, if, if I'm gonna give up on him, who's the next person that's gonna give up on him? And I didn't wanna be that person, I will go to the ends of the earth for every one of my students. Point to the. 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 Luke is a very um, happy little boy. He's a great learner, he's a, you know, he's a great, all the students are great, they are. But for him, you know, there's things that for a lot of children that are difficult but he works through it, we work through it. If we have to increase rewards for him, we do that. Mark is a godsend to what we were looking for. He really let me know what my son was capable of and that he was capable of so much more than I was giving him credit for. And when the day is over, Mark is doing observations at people's houses, he's educating parents, he's on the phone, helping us through problems. He's, he's always there for us. Ava was diagnosed as being on the autism spectrum when she was two and a half. We did uh, six months of early intervention and then she was transitioned into the ABA program which Mark runs. So I was always uh, comfortable with her being in special ed. I mean, obviously it's everyone's dream for their child to be mainstreamed. And uh, I feel, you know, under Mark's direction, she has been able to reach her potential. He's, he's given us hope and help when we felt hopeless and helpless. I made a lot of dreams come true. When you're a teacher, I think you bring some of that parenting in the classroom. I think there's more of an understanding, but there's also that understanding of what goes on in your child's education as well. My son was about two years old. We knew he was having um, speech delays. We had him evaluated for speech and we found out he had a nine month delay. And the uh, next day he ended up uh, going into uh, seizures right at dinner. He's on medication now. Um, he's in a preschool uh, classroom. He receives speech. So, you know, I just want to make sure in the end that he's happy. That's it. It's like 
and he the children that come in my class. You took it from there. And where, where do you want to put them? Do you just want to swing them? When I talk about Mark to people, I, I think the first thing I always start with is they don't make people like Mark because he really is just, he's like a man among men. You know, I think that's probably a, a good way of putting it. He comes in every day, open heart, open mind, always looking to do more with the kids. He's all in and we're not gonna stop until we get it right. My goal for each child is that they are able to learn to their maximum potential. Because even at the preschool, you're building that foundation. If I've set low expectations for them, then everybody's gonna set low expectations for them. Don't ignore them just because, well, they have a disability, they don't know how to say hi. We'll teach it to them. It doesn't make a difference because they deserve that. I don't like to use the word success. I like to use that we're on the right path. Stop. Yeah, I'm right <laughs> Did you like that song? Yeah. yeah.